Hey, Keys Mods fans, David Fine here. This series is dedicated to showing you the butterflies of the state of Florida. And today we're going to be talking about the Aaron's Skipper. Aaron Skipper Polani's Aaroni is a medium sized uh, full wing skipper, Hesperidae species, that lives in the salt marshes in the state of Florida. And it used to be a little bit more widespread throughout the state of Florida, but uh, you know, it, it is, it's a butterfly that has decreased in, in terms of where it's being reported to have been found. Now, I know a few places where you can find them abundantly if you go at the right time of year, and we're gonna talk a little bit about that in this video, but I love that Aaron Skipper is a really brightly colored skipper, and we're gonna show you what we know about this butterfly. So Aaron Skipper lives on coastal habitats. It, it lives in the state of Florida, but also can be found up the, the Northeast coast in states like New Jersey, uh, New York, uh, Virginia, North Carolina, and stuff like that in the salt marshes, right on the coast. So if you're more than, if you're like a half mile in, you know, inland from the coastline, you're too far. Yeah, so this is a coastal species. It feeds on larval host plant is cord grass, uh, genus Spartina, and that lives only in the brackish water salt marshes. And so uh, it, you're, if you're gonna be in the right habitat for Aaron Skipper, you're gonna be in a, in a marshy swamp. There might be mangroves in South Florida. There might be uh, grasses. It kind of looks Everglades-ish, okay? And that is the habitat for Aaron Skipper. The distribution of this species is very uh, scattered and patchy. So, so, you know, there are some strongholds and one of my favorite places to find Aaron Skipper is in and around a little town on the northwest coast of Florida called Yankee Town in Levy County. I think it's Levy County. And so that, uh, this little, road that goes out to the Yankee Town boat ramp on both sides of the road, Aaron Skipper's everywhere. And so that's probably one of the best places to find this species. And all you gotta do is look for nectar. And the nectar draws the butterfly out of the grasses because the, the actual habitat is marsh where there's water and you don't see them. They're out there in the marshes and you know we're not going out there typically uh, sludging around looking for butterflies in the marshes. but on roadsides where the roads are built up on the banks of the road, you might find some good flowers like Biden's or uh, sweet clover in the spring, you know, March, April, you know, the sweet, the white sweet clover and yellow sweet clover start to pop up and grow. And Aaron Skipper, Ponies Aaron, I love sweet clover. So that's a great way to locate them. And then also you see other things like the salt marsh skipper, Panaquinius Panaquin, uh, you'll see the Swedner's hair streak, the Grinius, the, the olive hair streak. And so that's that's a cool place to go to see some of those neat species. But Aaron Skipper, guys, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you some specimens that we caught, I caught like 20 years ago so that I can show you the difference between the male and the female. Guys, check this out. Okay, guys, if, if you're looking at this box, some of you might be mortified that I have all these butterflies uh, in a box and here's the deal they all look similar because they all are skippers and they all are brown and orange but in this box I believe there's upwards of 20 different species so don't get alarmed I don't I'm not going out killing a bunch of butterflies but I've got several specimens of Aaron skipper and what I'm going to do is I want to show you this little bad boy right here and I'm going to show you all about Aaron Skipper. I'm going to move the, a male and a female over to this box. I'm going to show you them. But what I want to show you guys is, you know, we've got Polani's Viator. This is Polani's Aaroni. We've got Polani's Zabulon. We've got, you know, Polani's Hobomoke. We've got the the sawgrass skipper, berry skipper, the, you know, look at all the butterflies, guys, that look so similar. So that's why taxonomy is so important. 
And that's why we keep a few voucher specimens of each species, just to show you the differences and do some actual taxonomy science. Check this out, guys. Okay, here we have a male and female Aaron's skipper, Pawani's Aaronite. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the difference between the boy and the girl, all right? Let's start with the size. Female is the one on the right, and females, almost in every skipper species, are larger than the males are. They're, they're larger. They have this, this larger abdomen where it houses all of the eggs, and they need to be able to fly with, that more, with the extra weight of all the eggs in the abdomen. So a lot of times their wings just have a little bit more area uh, so that when they flap their wings, they uh, can fly. And so that's the first main difference. Second main difference is skippers, the boys all have what is called a stigma on the forewing. So I'm gonna zoom in real quick. See this black streak here in the middle of the forewing? of this male, that's called a stigma. And that is actually an organ that the male uh, uses to, to sense the pheromone of the female and even to release its own type of pheromone in mating. So uh, male butterflies are, of the skipper group, all of them have a stigma on the forewing. And we're that's over and over and over and over again, you're gonna see the same exact thing. Females, they have some markings there, but they lack that organ, that stigma organ. So that is the main main difference that you can tell with just about any skipper. But the, uh, the males have, you know, th there is a slight variation in the color. Hind wings are similar. Four wings are, well, they're both similar, but they're just slightly different in their markings and, they, and the female lacks the stigma. Now, as far as the underside, okay, sorry, I had to take the, uh, I had to take the label off so we could show you the underside. And so this is, this specimen was caught in 2001 in Yankee Town, all right? So it's a long time ago. That's 2001, I'm getting old. That's 20, this specimen is 21, 22 years old. All right, so guys, um, Pawani's Aranai, the way you tell them apart from other species, as you see on the hind wing, this little cream colored streak that runs across the hind wing. That is what a marking that is very indicative of Aaron Skipper. So if you wanna tell them apart from the other ones, there's some, you know, when it's landed, it looks just like a sawgrass skipper. I mean, it's very, very, very similar. There's some slight subtle differences to a common butterfly like the sawgrass skipper, which lives in the same habitat. Sawgrass skipper is a little larger. In fact, let me get a sawgrass skipper. Where are you? Sawgrass, sawgrass, sawgrass skipper, sawgrass skipper. Da, 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 da. Here we go, let's get a fresh one. Sawgrass skipper, it, as you can see, is very, very similar to Aaron's skipper. But you see how the sawgrass skipper lacks that cream colored streak through the middle of the forewing. That's one of the bigger ways to tell them apart. You know, the upside, it would be, it would be easier to tell them apart from the, from the upside, but guess what? Skippers don't land with their wings open. Sometimes they'll fold their wings open a little bit and you'll be able to see, you know, just a little glimpse of the inside, but not a great way to tell them apart in the wild. I'm doing something sacrilegious here. I'm resting my specimens uh, <laughs> in a way that's not normal. All right, now, Aaron Skipper on the left, Sawgrass Skipper on the right. Aaron Skipper on the left has that cream colored little blotch that comes out. Uh, Sawgrass Skipper lacks that cream colored blotch. Now, the other difference, it's a little, it's very, you know, very inconspicuous. The, the forewing shape is a little different. And the hind wings on Aaron Skipper are a little more rounded than the Sawgrass Skipper. So that is a way you can tell them apart. And, you know, good luck to you in the field uh, if you're just taking pictures or, or observing, telling them apart. But you can you can tell them apart once you get to, you get to know them 
but it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort and a lot of repetition to be able to spot them out in the field. But guys, if you want to join a group or a community of lepidopterists, I am going to suggest submitting an application to join the Southern Lepidopterist Society. It's a group of men and women, a couple hundred of us, that study the butterflies and moths of the Southeast United States. I got their website linked in my description. And if you want to join, it's about 35 bucks a year. And they go and they study all of the moths and butterflies of the Southern United States. And I've been a member for over 20 years and I love it. So you get some newsletters, get invited to meetings and field trips and whatnot. Hope you liked the video on Aaron's Skipper, Polani's Aaronine. I, I love Latin names, guys. I'm gonna continue to do the Latin name thing just because uh, taxonomy is my deal and it, it sounds cool. I don't know, Polani's Aaronine. Uh, guys, hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're going to go through all 172 species of butterflies in the Florida Keys. I'm sorry, in the state of Florida, eventually. All right. Got a cool website, keysmoths.com. It'll show you all of uh, all 100 species of butterflies in the Florida Keys. We've got 100 species of butterflies that live down there in that little strip of islands. Pretty cool. And we've got them all photographed there for you. Plus, almost 600 species of moths just from the Florida Keys in our survey. There's probably a lot more. We're going to get to those as well. But guys, check out the website, uh, keysmoths.com, and we're going to get into the bugs of South Florida. Guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.